What is up, New York Giants fans? It is your boy, Jay Dimes, and we are finally back with another New York Giants video. And the first video back is Jason Garrett being fired and being released of his offensive coordinator duties, man. First video back, I, I didn't want it to be this. I didn't want it to be negative, but this is a negative. This is a positive. I've watched all of the Giants games, even though I've not been making a lot of videos. The football season for me is over, you know, so all the Giants uh, uploads are back for good. And um, we're going to jump right into it. So we watched that game last night. The game was horrible. The offensive play calling was horrible. That fourth and one, that fourth and one early on in the game where he, Daniel Jones rolled out instead of running the ball on fourth and one, that blew, that, that, that was the nail in the coffin for the New York Giants. When the Giants wasn't able to, you know, get a first down on that play, that's when I think we all knew that this game was out of hand. This game was going to be a tally mark in the loss column because we saw how Tom Brady just diced at the defense last night. And we needed our offense to come out there and put on points on the board. And they walked out of Tampa Bay with 10 points. 10 points. It is too many times, and it has been too many times that we have had to suffer from Jason Garrett's play call. You can have the you can have as much time as you want to, but if the play calling isn't right, it will drag all of that down. And we see all that firsthand this year. Um, and usually the Giants don't make in-season firings. Usually they'll wait after the season is over and then they'll make their moves. But this right here was an in-season firing. And now we get to see Freddie Kitchens be interim offensive coordinator. And we saw what his play calling was like. It was much different, more pushing the ball down the field. Um, last year versus the Cleveland Browns, though we did not have um, Daniel Jones at quarterback, it was a pretty decent play called game from Freddie Kitchens. And um, when Freddie Kitchens was the interim head coach after uh, the former uh, Hugh Jackson was fired out of Cleveland, out of Cleveland Baker Mayfield was a better quarterback. The stats show that there was a better quarterback from week nine to week 17. He was a much better quarterback after Freddie Kitchens was calling plays as the interim head coach. So I'm excited to see how the Giants look um, with Jason Garrett just not here. Does the offense look different or does it look the same? I feel like Joe Judge is, uh, you got seven games. If the Giants offense looks good for these past for these next seven games, the defense looks okay, and the Giants, and I can't say on a high note because you didn't make the playoffs. You had playoff expiration, didn't make the playoffs, so you're not going to end on a high note. There are going to be more firings um, depending on how this season how this season ends. Dave Gellman for sure will be fired um, in my opinion, but Joe Judge is the only guy I feel like right now that can save his job. He's the only guy that can save his job, but this should be happy. We should be happy. We are happy. Um, Jason Garrett is fired. And we don't have to see uh, that play calling ever again because it was bad. It was very, very, very bad. Daniel Jones was such a much better quarterback with Pat Shermer as his play caller. Um, firing Pat Shermer and taking him away from Daniel Jones had to be probably the, the moment we probably ruined Daniel Jones. Daniel Jones is actually a bad quarterback. And last night, he looked like a bad quarterback. If he's actually a horrible, you know, below average bench bus quarterback, firing Pat Shermer and replacing his play calling duties with Jason Garrett is going to be the reason for that. But we will see how Daniel Jones looks with Jason Garrett not being the play caller. And we will see how the Giants offense looks without Jason Garrett being the play caller. I can't wait to see. I feel like uh, this is a breakthrough for Kadarius Tony to get touches. Kenny Galladay to get touches. Kenny Galladay had the same amount of receptions as Andrew Thomas last night. Just think about that, all right? Just think about that. So that's going to do it. First video back. Jason Garrett is fired. Um, more content coming out this week. And um, you guys stay. Mm, I'm glad that I'm back. And I uh, can't wait to drop this content, drop these bangers, and get back at it with you guys back on the tube. So if you are new, if you are an old subscriber, what's up? If you're new, hit the subscribe button, join the fam, and until then, it's me, boy, Jay Downs, and I am out. Peace.